so yeah, okay, I wanted to come on here and talk about this lady really quickly. I'm watching this you, so I'm watching this video on YouTube or whatever. And the lady that is her channel or whatever, she keeps saying that, well, what first got me, she was like her husband, they said they moved up to the mountain area in the state they live in, the mountains or whatever. And her husband, they had a um, townhouse that they selling. And her husband, I'm just roughly going over it in my own words or whatever. Her husband is staying at the townhouse in the north. She living in a rented trailer home in the south quarter they say they live in. And what really took, threw me for a loop was when she said her husband comes over for the weekend for a visit. Ma'am, now, to each his own. Now, that might, what works for you don't always work for the next person. Or ain't gonna work for the next person. Like my grandma will, would always say, what's good for the goose ain't always good for the gander. And in this case, I'm the gander. That ain't gonna work for me. Not them type of damn living arrangements. I'm not gonna be in a rented mobile home by myself with my children and my husband. I'm deep in the south part of the state. This just like take I'm living in Texas, which I am. So... I'm living in Houston in a rented mobile home, paying rent by myself and bills by myself while my husband is at the um at our old house that we're supposed to be selling and up near Dallas and stuff like that, or in the northern part of Texas, or wherever up there, somewhere up there. And I'm saying me and the kids stand down here by our damn self and he up there. God knows what he's doing up there. Now this just a part this could be just a part of me speaking that I've been the part of me that been lying to, cheated on, betrayed, and all that speaking. But to me, something about that story don't sit right. And then ha imagine having your husband come over every weekend. Nah, two days. For a visit. What the hell? No. Like I said to my, I just said earlier, I'm like, that couldn't be me. And he wouldn't be my husband no more. I'm trying to tell you, you come over for a visit. A visit? Now, if I got to stay in the southern part of the state, bitch, you I'm telling you, sir, you come bring your ass down here with me. I'm not going to be standing down here, me and the kids standing down here by ourselves. And then it's just, it's just like a divorce. The kids come down here, they stay down here with their mama. And then, why they going to school? Then on the weekend, they go up there and spend time with their daddy. Don't that sound like some kind of custody stuff? They're trying to check that they're they sharing custody. It sounds like they... Or going through a divorce or a legal separation or whatever, what have you. And they trying to split custody or they, they've been told by the court that they got to share custody of their children. And he comes over on the weekends or the weekends to pick up the kids because the kids stay with their mom through the week, Monday through Friday to go to school. And then on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, they go spend with their daddy. He bring them back Sunday afternoon. So they can get ready for school Monday morning. And, no, ma'am. I'm not going to do that. Like I said, if you my damn husband, your ass is going to be staying with me. That's what's gonna, how it's going to go. Your ass is going to be staying with me. I'm sorry. Me and your kids is not going to be staying in the sub, way down in the southern part of the state. Your ass staying way up in the, northern, no, in the northern part of the state. And you come over two days per week. This is just what works for me. That's, it don't sit right with me because I'm just not doing it. Because, like I say, God knows what he got going on up there. And I'm still going to call you my husband? No. If we living like we divorced, and or we legally separating and splitting custody of kids, well, then it's going to eventually end up coming to fruition. I can't. Mm -mm. I just, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I cannot. That, that ain't in me to do. I mean, yeah, like I said, that might work for her. She might be all fine and dandy with it. Everything, peaches and roses and sunflowers for her. But for me, hell no. I can't, I'm not going to even set myself up for something like that. This just like you telling everybody to go ahead and whoever random woman wants your husband, they can have him. Because you ain't up there getting dandy. Your husband will tell you anything. Like I said, not your husband, but a pal. This will tell you anything you want to hear just so they won't have to go through an argument, a disagreement, or anything. So they won't have to hear your mouth. And this is just, once again, me speaking from the things that I've been in. And that something like this has happened to me before. But yeah, I can't do it, y'all. I can't. Mm -mm, I don't see how she do it. 
because trust me, if I'm living somewhere, way somewhere else, and he's living way up there, we not married. We might as well just go ahead and divorce then, because I'm not doing all that. If we married, my thing is by marriage, how look at we supposed to be living in the same household together. We supposed to be contributing to the same household. If he living up in Dallas, me and the kids, uh, me and the kids gonna go up there and live with him. Or if I'm living in the south, he gonna and me and the kids living down here in the south, he gonna have to bring his ass down here. It don't, and then I don't know for sure. I'm just speaking because I'm not a real estate agent or nothing. But it shouldn't take from what I have heard other people say. It shouldn't take that damn long, three years to sell. A townhome, a townhome. Maybe you're gonna have to adjust your price if it ain't selling. Or take what you can get so you can sell it. Obviously, this man ain't selling this townhome because me, the way I'm thinking, maybe he don't just, he don't wanna move. Or maybe he got something going on up there he ain't leaving yet. I bet if she drop her ass up there today or tomorrow, don't tell him you're coming, just go pop up up there. You're gonna catch this man doing some things that. You would never thought your husband would do. Like my grandma and my mom would always say, um, you go looking for something, you're going to find exactly what you're looking for and a whole lot more. And that has happened to me many a times before. You'll never know if you don't go looking for it. you will never be heartbroken if you don't go looking for it. But maybe sometimes I'm thinking, in this situation, she needs to go and look. Then... I don't know if it's because she wants to or because she just ain't had the money to buy a wash and dry yet, but she got to drive to the laundromat. And I mean, that don't, that, that don't bother me because, hell, I do it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I can't, y'all. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Have me living down in the southern states and I got to fix up a mobile. Buy- I got to rent out a mobile home that looks a hot mess that I got, that when I bought it, it's like severely damaged. Like... It needs to be demolished and thrown away. It needs to be torn down or something. And I got to pay rent on that mobile home and fix it up myself. And then I got to ask my husband, can you come for the weekend and visit? Come for a visit the weekend. Her wording, maybe it's just her wording ain't. She ain't using the right, right words or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I couldn't, y'all. That just ain't me. I mean, that just something about that don't sit right with me. You staying down south and your husband is up north. And I can't get past that. Your husband up north. He comes over for a visit on the weekends. Saturday and Sunday. She's talking about, oh, this is what she said. She was like, my husband trying to sell the townhouse up north. No, it should be y'all trying to sell the townhouse. Why you got to let him stay up there and you come down here and fix up what got your kids living in the mobile home that look the way it look? I mean, y'all should actually see that damn video. I'm like, man, no. I would not be putting myself in that damn situation. It was not that damn serious. We'll be all standing that damn up in that other damn townhouse up north. Fuck that shit. Obviously, she keeps talking about, well, he's supposed to be selling it and then he gonna retire and come down here. Man, if this lady, this lady, if this man was gonna retire, he would have been down there or he would, with y'all. Or he would have found a way to make it work to come down there with y'all and still go to work or ask his boss can he be transferred somewhere closer to where he moving to if he really wanted to be there he would make a way out of no way y'all mm-mm, I can't do it I don't mm-mm, hell no nah. something fishy about that but like I say I'm gonna end this on this to each his own if she like it I love it 